Hi, I'm Tony Krimlisk. I've now posted over a hundred ukulele video tutorials onto YouTube on a range of different songs. I always put chord boxes in the scores and the thing that strikes me is how often I've used the same chords, whether the song is from the 1920s, the 30s, the 50s, the 80s or is contemporary. I thought it might be useful to show which chords have been used the most. In, so let's start with the A family. There's an A chord here, there's two fingers, A minor, one finger, A7, one finger, and A minor 7, no fingers at all. Very useful as a, as a fill-in chord. B, you've got B and B, B flat are bar chords, which many people find difficult. But you can see if B flat major 7 works. It will in some songs, but not in all. That note. And you can get away with that by just not playing that first string. Play, put the shape like that on, and then only play the bottom three strings, or strings 2, 3 and 4. The C chord will be familiar, probably the first chord you learnt, and the C7. C major 7 is only one fret lower, and those three chords, C, C major 7 and C7, make a very nice run down to an F chord. Often used. And then of course there's the C6 chord, which is all the strings open, surprisingly like A minor 7, for reasons I've talked about in several of the videos. Um, there's also the C sharp diminished 7, sounds complicated, but it only uses two fingers, and it's quite often used in chords, in songs. And you get this. Very often, very familiar. D is a difficult chord for some people if you've got big hands because you've got to stretch three fingers together like that. And there's a couple of alternatives. One is to put one finger across two strings and the third finger, third string covered by just one finger. You can do that the other way around, like those two covering that and that one doing that. And then you've got D minor. D7. Very useful. D7 is often written in music with a bar chord, and that's D7. But you can get away with what's called the Hawaiian uh, D7 very nicely. It hasn't got a D in it, but it works. E is probably the most difficult to play on the ukulele. When I started, I found E7 quite tricky as well. It's just used a lot, so it's well worth learning. Same is true of E minor. One trick is if you're going from a G chord to an E minor, just put your little finger down. You do got quite often. F I've already mentioned. F minor is a bit tricky again because it's a long stretch. But there's several videos I've giving you an alternative of playing just the string 2, 3 and 4 with a D minor shape at fret 5. That contains all the notes of an F minor chord. G and G7 were probably the first chords you learnt. After C. And G minor is still only three notes and used a fair amount as well. I showed in, in the B flat chord how you can only use just three strings and the same with the D minor. That's true of all the chords because the bottom three strings, strings two, three and four of the ukulele is a major chord and the top three strings is a minor chord. So it's go up all, all the chords all. I've shown that in a video on how to play the you can really easily, uh, but, but it's a subject of another video, which I'll, I'll do another time. Right, well, I hope you found that uh, useful and interesting, and as always, whatever you do, however you do it, enjoy playing the ukulele.